This is in response to a viewer request. I did a video on a RF isolator, and this is it in the picture here. I did try to do I did try to do some measurements and stuff on it, but he was asking what it would look like on a VNA, which was a great question. Except um, I don't have a VNA that can go that high in frequency, but my friend did. So when I was over there making the other video, uh, I brought along the isolator and um, tried it out. So uh, here it is, and we'll give it a go. So the first test we're going to do is S21. So this is the through measurement of the device. And you can see it has a pass band of about 1 to 5 gigahertz. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, about 1 to 5 gigahertz. Uh, I had kind of guessed it probably would work somewhere between 2 and 4 gigahertz. So it's a little bit broader than that, but looks pretty good. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at S22, I mean, S, uh, S12, which is the reverse direction. Now, I immediately started unscrewing it to turn it around to do the other measurement. He goes, what are you doing? Just push the button. Uh, so his, he's got a full-blown forward, backwards, you know, S11, S2. It's all, you just push buttons and that's all great. So anyway, so here we go. I uh, push the button and we're looking at uh, the uh, reverse direction. And you can see it's a very, very narrow band, though. It's very narrow at about 2.2 gigahertz. And uh, yeah, so it's not as broadband as I thought it was going to be. There are isolators that are specific frequency isolators. This one seems to have been designed right around uh, 2.2 gigahertz. Uh, you can see here I've moved the marker to 2 gigahertz, so we can kind of see how, how wide it is. And this is here is what, uh, 2.35 gigahertz. Yeah, it's not very wide at all. So uh, it's very, very good at, at what it was designed to do, but it's not a broadband broadband isolator. But uh, yeah, I did some measurements earlier in a different video um, where I was measuring at 2.7 gigahertz, I believe, and I was getting okay results. I'm not quite sure why I was getting good results on that particular measurement. And the VNA shows that I probably wouldn't. I probably maybe at best would see a 10 dB return loss, but I was seeing about a 20 dB. So I don't know. I uh, still have to figure that one out. And just because I could, I pressed the uh, S22 uh, button. And here you go. It's very messy, except for where it's designed. And just because I could, I pressed the S11 button. And yeah, here you go. Anyway, I, uh, I hope that answers the question.